a couple of years ago, we started with this, what, what, what we call the, the full load test or a full charge test. That means uh, for every single product, we have a device like this, a PC board or the array of PC boards. We, we just give in, it's pressed to contacts, it, it's got the full uh, power supply, and so you, you can run it under full load conditions. Uh, and everything is tested automatically. Uh, the computer says number 17 is wrong, and the technician then knows, okay, it's got to be this resistor or a, a certain part of the, of the circuit board. There's something that changes a pile of electronics, pieces of wood, a grill cloth and a speaker into something fit for the gods, and it's called a tube. Tube amps are what we're here for. The vacuum tube inspector is a culmination of two years' work. This machine does several things. Firstly, we cook the tubes for half an hour to get them to their full operating temperature. That's half an hour, not ten minutes, lies my brothers. Then, we have this magic thing here, which is called a hammer. We agitate every single tube for a period of time to make sure that all the parts inside the tube are in their correct position for the best operation. It shakes everything into place. Normally, that's done in most other amps, and certainly by us in the past, by UPS. Now we do it ourselves. And the difference it makes is it means that when we set the bias, it means the tube remains stable, and that's the key to the correct operation of an amp. What we also do is we measure the grid current to find out if the tube is a vacuum and the tube is good, and to measure the leakage. We measure a few other things which we won't say, and we also, just for good measure, we put 3,000 volts through each tube just to give it a shock, just to make sure it really is ready. Only then do we bias the tubes. Of course, we have computer-aided technology to tell us if something's failed, and here's one that's failed. So that gets rejected. So our failure rate is around 30%. And it's not that the tubes won't work at all, it's just they don't reach the standard we need them to. So we send them back in two different ways. We send the tubes that are no good, and the tubes that have failed, and they're selected separately and sent back to the places we buy them from. We try to see the, uh, what can you say, destruction. We try and destroy things in this room. This is, uh, the, this is the, uh, torture this, the torture chamber. Any product that we develop, or any other people's products we want to look at, yeah. they go in that room, it's a fireproof room, we'll drive it at full power, full load, for 48 hours over a weekend, and come back and see what happens. We do that at the development stage, of course, to make sure that products do what they say. At the fridge, and it goes to minus 20 in there, and we just leave it until it breaks. And if it breaks, obviously, then we have to redo the circuit which was broken. Uh, on this one, the function, function test showed us that the preamp tube wasn't correct. So now, you have to take it out, put a new tube in, and do the function test again. Mario sets the amp so that it's in the correct situation for us to test it. Yeah, now it's correct. That's it's the signal going through it. There's a signal piggle. Okay. Yeah, sand caps. Can you hear it? If you hear, you can, you can hear the sound of the tubes. The rattling yeah. of the plates. Oh yeah, that's something, huh? Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's great. And this is for half an hour. And then once it's finished, you get a read out, he gets a readout to tell him whether everything's correctly working. And if it isn't, as we've just seen, a preamp tube failed. So then he puts a new tube in and starts again. You've seen all the testing that goes on there. Once the amp has finally been assembled, we still have to do the test that the other amp companies do, which is to listen to it, test the functions again. He does it by hand, make sure the amp works. And every, he also... Every single one? Yeah, every single one, yeah. Mm -hmm. And on that machine there, we also make the ground bonding test to make sure that electrically that the amp is safe. Now we do that before at the electronic stage, but when the amp is finished, we put it through there to make sure there's no electricity on the surface, you know, it's a safe amp. Hi, my name is Uwe Six. Um, I work here as a technician and musician, and I check all the amps before they go out in the shops. I check every feature, every sound with my guitar for a time between 10 and 30 minutes. And that's what I do here. We, and we drive everything at full load to test to make sure that the product we've built does do what it says on the package. The heating for, for all the barracks was uh, mm -hmm. in, in this mm -hmm. room. This is a perfect room for an unechoic chamber. The Europe's largest class or category one uh, unechoic chamber. Hmm. That means category one, uh, one means it goes down to 50 hertz. You've heard the thing, one watt at one meter, that's exactly what you do. You have a microphone there, exactly one meter away from the cab, and you measure it on axis, and then we have the machinery to turn it around so that we can measure all the polar responses. You know, you see all the information on the backs of audio um, brochures, that's how it's done. Every product uh, 
we electronically, we look at what it's doing, we function test it, and we have a mask. See, there's a, a line above which it can't go and a line below which it can't go. So this gentleman is testing to make sure the phase is correct. And that's <laughs> So we have like a repair station on the line so it comes back in the system, but nothing gets passed in. Once the product is finished, and only once it's, when it's finished, you see these ticks are being made by people going along the line. This signature is signed because yes, the product is correct and it's ready to go. So This actually only started in the last two months because we thought, hmm, it's easy for us to tell everybody everything, but if we actually have a progress chasing ticket on it as well, which means the employees have to ticket, that makes it even more safe. So that's what we do.